Hello dear students, good evening. Welcome to the best 200 current affairs of February part 3. So if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Okay. If you are liking the video, it will give me a motivational boost, right? And one more thing, if you are already an aspirant of SBI PO, IPS PO, okay, and you have cleared the mains and you are going to appear for the interview, please do uh, drop a mail okay please do drop a mail on this email id so that i can add you to my interview preparation group that is exigence exigence dot anirvan at the red gmail dot com okay you can just drop a mail with your full name and whatsapp number I will add you to my WhatsApp group. Okay, the group has already been formed and I have already shared the most probable questions that can be asked in the interview. Okay, so it has already started. So you can just uh, drop a mail so that I can add you to my group. It will boost your interview preparation. All right. Also, if you are uh, preparing for the interview, you must uh, have a look at the uh, current affairs of the previous one month. Okay, from the date of interview previous one month current affairs should be at your fin fingertips okay you should be well acquainted and they should be at your fingertips so prepare accordingly okay so this is first question of the day who will head the committee that has been constituted by rbi to strengthen urban cooperative banks so i guess all the names are familiar to you isn't it so what will be my answer what will be my answer and also please note that if you are uh, going to appear in the interview you should prepare well the recent uh, whatever is happening recently the recent current affairs that is that are related to banking okay banking related current affairs should be at your fingertips too so my answer will be ns vishwanathan you can just have a look RBI said on Monday that it has constituted an expert committee on UCBs, urban cooperative banks, in a bid to strengthen and examine the issues within the sector. Fine. Former RBI Deputy Governor NS Vishwanathan will be the chairman of the eight-member committee. So these are the names of the other members. Harsh Kumar Bhanwala, you can see here. Mukund Chitale, right? Retired IAS uh, officers NC Muniappa, RN Joshi. So these are the members. Okay, and the chairman is NS Vishwanathan. Next one. The dash edition of the Indian Sign Language Dictionary with 10,000 terms was released by Union Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment, Tawarchat Gehalot. So, you just have to mention the edition. Which edition was it? Kaun sa edition tha? Fine. So, please do answer in the comment section. I will check every person's uh, comment. Okay. I will check the answers. I may not read out the names every time i cannot mention the names every time but i will check the answers which you are giving in the comment section fine so my answer will be third edition first edition was launched on 23rd march 2018 you can have a look here and it had 3000 terms second edition had 6000 terms which included the earlier 3000 terms and it was launched on 27th february 2019 right next one dash has won kkfis 2021 <coughs> pardon coco super league championship trophy coco super league championship trophy so you just have to mention the name of the team which team has won it so my answer will be pahari villas you can just have a look here maharashtra's pratik vaikar continued his spectacular show at the kkfi super uh, league coco tournament as pahari villas lifted the trophy okay Right? And they had won against Panthers. Okay. So they are the runner up. Next one. Where did PM Modi inaugurate India's first full fledged international cruise terminal, Sagarika? So Sagarika is the name of the international cruise terminal. So this can also be asked. This can form a keyword and it can also be asked in the examination. So my answer will be Cochin Port. Okay. Cochin port in Kerala. Just have a look here. Prime Minister inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of several development projects worth 8000 crore at Chennai in Tamil Nadu. Right. And also he inaugurated the 
क्रूज टर्मिनल एट कोचिन पोर्ट इन केरला गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सी हियर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो इन अगर द कंट्रीज फर्स्ट फुल फ्लेज इंटरनेशनल क्रूज टर्मिनल सागरिका एट कोचिन पोर्ट राइट and marine engineering training institute at cochin shipyard limited so both of these are important 8000 crore rupees at chennai in tamil nadu and this one okay that is why i have added it from the newspaper name the company that has announced that it will commence manufacturing of electronics products in india so this is quite easy from the exam point of view because this was in uh, news recently few days back so the name is amazon right amazon will commence manufacturing with contract manufacturer cloud network technology a subsidiary of foxconn in chennai and start production later this year all right next one name the indian short film that is shortlisted in top 10 films under live action short film category for 93rd auction sorry 93rd oscar awards 93rd oscar awards so 93rd becomes an important keyword becomes an important keyword here okay which edition of the oscar awards so it becomes an important keyword so my answer will be bit 2 okay india's bit 2 makes it to live action short film shortlist theek hai bit 2 the film has been presented by ekta kapoor gunit monga tahira kashyap okay under their indian women rising initiative Next one. Recently, PM Modi laid the foundation stone of Maharaja Suhail Dev Memorial in which state? So, Maharaja Suhail Dev Memorial has been inaugurated. Rather, the foundation stone uh, for the uh, Maharaja Suhail Dev Memorial has been laid in which state? So, my answer will be UP, Uttar Pradesh. See, Maharaja Suhail Dev Memorial in UP is Bharaj. Okay. Next one, and uh, you can just go through it. right you can just go through it uh, because uh, chief minister yogi adityanath was also present fine next one recently who addressed the celebration of 75 years of sri ramchandra mission 75 years of sri ramchandra mission so yes this has also been inaugurated by pm modi all right ramchandra mission the prime minister addressed the event organized to commemorate to commemorate 75 years of ramchandra mission right it has been uh, rather the prime minister lauded the mission for instilling meaningfulness peace health and spiritual well being among the people he also praised the mission for popularizing yoga right next one who has been conferred with japan's order of the rising sun gold and silver rays decoration so conferred ke sath hamesha with lagta hai isn't it we all know i have taught you in my english classes so conferred with japan's order of the rising sun gold and silver rays decoration so the answer will be thangjam dhawali singh thangjam dhawali singh recently who has inaugurated 20th edition of the world sustainable development summit kaun sa edition tha 20th edition okay so this becomes an important keyword 20th edition of the world sustainable development summit 2021 and if you are new to this channel please do hit the like button and subscribe button okay please do subscribe to the channel and please class ka link sabhi groups mein share kar dijiye this is just a request to you right please do share the class link in all groups wherever you are present fine and please hit the like button so my answer will be pm modi right pm modi okay next one to promote india's diverse cultural heritage ministry of culture government of india has organized rashtriya sanskriti mahotsav 2021 in koch bihar district of which state so this can also be asked koch bihar district is in which state or they can um, ask the other way around they can mention the state and they will ask the name of the district so these are the important keywords isn't it koch bihar district राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर सो माई आंसर विल बी कोच बिहार डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज इन वेस्ट बेंगाल ओके कोच बिहार डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज इन वेस्ट बेंगाल नेक्स्ट वन अकॉर्डिंग टू वर्ल्ड बैंक रिपोर्ट विच कंट्री हैज टॉप द वर्ल्ड विथ इलेवन परसेंट ऑफ ग्लोबल डेथ इन रोड एक्सीडेंट्स सो आवर टारगेट इज टू मिनिमाइज रोड एक्सीडेंट्स इज इन टेट 
So my answer will be India. See, with just 1% of the world's vehicles, India accounts for 11% of the global death in road accidents, the highest in the world. Can you just imagine? India accounts for about 4.5 lakh road crashes per annum in a year. Just imagine, in which 1.5 lakh people die, 53 road crashes every hour, killing one person every minute. In the last decade, 13 lakh people died and another 50 lakh got injured on Indian roads. Next one, fast tag. This was in news recently, we all know, right? Fast tag has become mandatory for no cash payments on national highways. So it has been done from which date? So it became effective from which date? So it became effective from 15th February onwards. Right? 15th February onwards. Next one. Recently, robotic spa facility has been inaugurated at which railway station? So which railway station may ye robotic spa facility ko inaugurate kiya gaya? So is answer kya ho jayega? Is answer hoga apka? Vizag Railway Station or Vishakapatnam Railway Station. Okay. Walter Division. Right. Robotic Spa under non fair revenue at Vizag or Vishakapatnam Railway Station. Okay. The first of its kind railway station in East Coast Railway. Are you getting my point? So, East Coast Railway is also an important keyword here. Okay. There are various facilities like relaxing chair, foot massager. Fine. Then uh, fish pedicure spa. Fine. Next one. Uh, Prime Minister Modi handed over the indigenous main battle tank Arjun MK1A to the army in the function at the Jawaharlal Nehru Indoor Stadium, which is located in Dash. So you just have to say Jawaharlal Nehru Indoor Stadium kaha pe hai? So it is in Chennai, right? Chennai. Next. Which country is hosting a multinational naval exercise Amman 2021 in the Arabian Sea? This was also in news. Amman 2021 is being hosted by which country? Yes, it is none other than Pakistan. Pakistan, okay. So, Pakistan Army, see, note me maine kuch extra information add kiya hai, right? I could have uh, created separate questions, but I decided to add this along with this particular answer okay so pakistan army uh, army is holding a exercise rather an exercise jidar ul hadid in the third desert in the sindh province pakistan army conducted a successful test firing of a short range surface to surface ballistic missile babar fine these two are also important from the exam point of view next one Kotak Investment Advisors Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of Kotak Mahindra Bank Limited, has appointed whom? Its exclusive advisor of Kotak's special situation fund. Very important. If you are a banking aspirant, this one becomes quite important. Right? So, my answer will be Rajneesh Kumar. Rajneesh Kumar. Okay. International Solar Alliance has announced whom? Its new Director General. So, who is the new Director General, rather who will be the new Director General of International Solar Alliance? My answer will be Dr. Ajay Mathur. You must note that Mr. Upendra Tripathi has served as the Director General since ISA was founded in the year 2015. Right? So, International Solar Alliance was founded in 2015. Four women scientists own the Serb Women Excellence Award 2021. So you just have to say who among the following is not one of them, is not one of them. Fine. You should note, I have mentioned who among the following is not one of them. Right. So my answer ho jayega Dr. Nandini Harinath. Rest of them are the uh, winners. Right. Four women scientists. She is the odd one out. Next one. Who has authored the book Starstruck Confessions of a TV Executive? Starstruck Confessions of a TV Executive. So, I guess all the options are familiar to you because books and authors pe maine bahut baar ye uh, pichle videos mein maine bataya tha. Fine. Right. So, the answer will be Peter Mukherjee and let us have a look at the other options too. R. Giridharan, his book is right under your nose. 
it was in news within the last five months right alfredo Co alfredo covili wahan master class hussein hakani balochistan bruised battered and bloodied Rachna Bisht Rawat's book Insomnia, Insomnia Army Stories I have told you in the last class mein tha, Insomnia Army Stories Tata Motors Limited has appointed whom? Its new CEO and MD MD and CEO you can also say Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer So my answer will be Mark Listosela okay. Tata Motors appoints Mark Listosela as CEO and MD of the company Right Next one Name the state that has recently launched a mass scheme to provide meals at rupees 5 to the poor. Fine. So, we all know of Amma Canteen, right? So, this is a similar scheme. It has been launched by which state? So, yes, it has been launched by none other than our lovely Mamta Banerjee, isn't it? Okay. So, Mamta Banerjee has launched it. So, poor people will be given meals at rupees 5 only. Okay. So, some of the important, some of the uh, important schemes of West Bengal include Duare Duare Sharkar, Shastra Sathi, Karma Sathi Prakalpa, Karma Dharma, Pothashri Aviyan, okay, for the uh, construction of roads or highways, Karnashri Prakalpa, Bangashri Prakalpa, Chashundari, Sneher Porosh, Mati Srishti and Prochesta. These are the very important schemes of West Bengal. Fine. Next one. So, uh, this is quite important. The state government will bear a subsidy of rupees 15 per plate. Fine. So, she has announced, the chief minister has announced that the state government will bear the subsidy of rupees 15 per plate. Right. So, elections are near, isn't it? So, such schemes should be launched. Right. Hmm. I hope you can uh, understand the hidden meaning what I meant right next one where was the first route of water metro project inaugurated where was the first route of water metro project inaugurated so uh, why it is named water metro because jo bhi uh, coach hoga ye jo uh, coach rahega inside uh, the interiors it will be like a metro coach okay so it has been uh, so dekhiye kaise yaad rakhna hai metro coach se coachi coach coachi so aise aap yaad rakh uh, rakh sakte hai hai ki nahi kerala cm inaugurates first route okay so jo uh, ye jo dekhiye yahan pe jo coach rahega okay jo baithne ka jagah rahega it will be similar to a metro interiors of a metro coach theek hai so that is why it is named water metro project in Kochi Kerala right next one name the state that has recently launched a view the scheme a view the scheme so this is the same state that had recently launched the I am not uh, remembering the name uh, what was the name mm, the name was perhaps let me just uh, try to recall while you answer because UP uh, UP is the state right so it had uh, recently launched uh, a scheme right for the uh, for the land holdings isn't it i'm not uh, i'm trying to recollect the name if i uh, am successful in recollecting the name i will mention here okay yes 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 so the name is i got it so the name is virasat okay i was trying to recall and it struck my mind just now so the name was virasat so the same state up Okay, Abhuda scheme, Virasat campaign, because it was for land holdings, right? Next one. On 16th February, Delhi police celebrated the Dash Foundation Day. So, ye to puchi sakta hai. Fine. Like uh, CRPF ka kaunsa raising day tha, CISF ka kaunsa raising day tha. Ye puchi sakta hai. Take hai. So, you should know this, right? So, Delhi police celebrated the 74th Foundation Day. Recently, who has launched the eChavani portal? eChavani portal has been recently launched by whom? So, kisne eChavani portal launch kiya hai? So, mera answer ho jayega Rajna Singh, Defense Minister Rajna Singh launches the eChavani portal. Got it? So, 
See, residents of cantonment areas can register their complaints regarding civic issues and resolve them while sitting at home. This is the uh, main uh, objective of this portal, e Chawani portal. Next one, name the state that has recently launched fiber optic network to provide free internet access to 20 lakh families. So this state has been doing a, a great deal of work when it comes to education lately right so it has been doing a great deal of work in uh, education lately so which state is it yes if you are guessing it you are guessing it right the state is kerala right so <clears throat> education uh, school education education in government schools have been made uh, has been made 100 percent digital in kerala right so this is the same state next one who has been appointed the executive secretary by the Union Capital Development Fund, Executive Secretary of Union Capital Development Fund. Kya hoga iska answer? So my answer will be Priti Sinha. Priti Sinha. Next one. Dash has won. Dash has won the Sanctuary Lifetime Service Award 2020. The Sanctuary Lifetime Service Award 2020. So, is answer kya hoga? So, my answer will be, my answer will be S. Theodore Vaskaran. S. Theodore Vaskaran. Next one. As per the International Energy Agencies, India Energy Outlook 2021, India will surpass EU, European Union as the world's third largest, uh, sorry, third biggest energy consumer by which year? So, you have to mention the year right in this type of questions the target year becomes important so it will be by 2030 you can see here okay india accounting for the biggest share of energy demand growth over the next two decades it will be the third largest energy consumer by 2030 fine and also have a look here iea so, primary energy consumption almost doubling to 1.123 million tons of oil equivalent as the GDP expands to 8.6 trillion US dollar by the year 2040. So, this is also important. I am underlining the important facts. Please go through them. The Union Cabinet has approved signing of a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement, a kind of free trade pact between India and which country? So, which country is it? So, options manage thora confusing dala hai. You just have to mention which country is it. So, what will be the answer? My answer will be Mauritius. Union cabinet clears trade deal with Mauritius. Okay. With Mauritius. Next. Dash has partnered with ICICI Lombard General Insurance to, uh, to offer hospi cash insurance. Naam aapko yaad rakna hai. Hospi cash, hospi cash insurance, hospi cash insurance. So I say say Lombard General Insurance, hospi cash insurance, and Flipkart. These are the three keywords here. So I say say Lombard partners with Flipkart to offer hospi cash benefit. You can just go through it so that you can uh, understand the exact objective, okay, of this particular. Uh, partnership okay and what actually is hospital cash insurance next one which edition of the nascom technology and leadership forum is being organized from 17th to 19th february from 17th to 19th february so my answer will be which edition is it the answer is 29th edition and also remember the theme theme kya hai shaping the future towards a better normal shaping the future towards a better normal Next one, who has been conferred the Scotch Chief Minister of the Year Award by Chairman of Scotch Group, Samir Kocher. So, ye bhi add kiya hai. who is the Chairman of Scotch Group? He is none other than Samir Kocher. And who has been conferred the Scotch Chief Minister of the Year Award? Yes, it is the same person who has launched various schemes like, various schemes like, uh, what to say, uh, YSR Cherodu scheme, right? So many schemes, right? So it is, of course, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. 
so many schemes has been launched recently why is a cheruru scheme motsakar bharosha scheme isn't it so the name is you see why is a raitu bharosha kendra so these are some important schemes right so he has won it next one according to the data by eu statistics eurostat eu statistics agency eurostat dash has overtaken the united states as the biggest trading partner of european union in 2020 so ye data kisne release kiya hai european union statistics agency jiska naam hai eurostat eurostat and dash has overtaken the united states as the biggest trading partner of european union in the year 2020 so my answer will be none other than china the very uh, country fine the um, what to say the main culprit the very culprit of the spread of this pandemic covid 19 isn't it china china has overtaken us as eu's european union's biggest trading partner next one who has written a novel ashoka a sutra an imagined memoir of ashoka the great an imagined memoir of ashoka the great who has written a novel ashoka a sutra an imagined memoir of ashoka the great the answer is arwin allen silly arwin silly to pen imagined memoir of ashoka the great right next one which bank has entered into a strategic partnership with vian with vian uh, network to offer financial support to the msme sector so which bank has entered into a strategic partnership with vian network to offer financial support to the msme sector the name is quite familiar because this bank was recently in news right so it is bank of maharashtra bank of maharashtra you can just go through it i have already added it so who is the md and ceo of bank of maharashtra as present it is as rajiv right next one the international solar alliance has planned to launch the world solar bank at the un climate change conference in glasgow that is scheduled for dash so it is scheduled for which month and in which year so glasgow is an important keyword here right and world solar bank is also important so it is november 2021 right next one who has addressed the inaugural ceremony of the third india tourism mart so who has addressed the inaugural ceremony of the third india tourism mart so my answer will be harshvardhan dr harshvardhan has launched it third india tourism mart so this is also important third edition who has been felicitated with dada saheb phalke award for the most versatile actor recently quite important right quite important from the exam point of view so my answer will be k k menon k k menon i am a huge fan of this person he is indeed a versatile actor next one name the country that is hosting the 15th edition of the idex and navdex idex and navdex so it is the 15th edition so which country is it it is uae okay indian naval ship see this is also important indian naval ship ins pralay arrived at abu dhabi uae to participate in navdex 2021 Navdex 21 Naval Defence Exhibition this is a full form and IDEX 21 International Defence Exhibition so which uh, ship it is INS Pralay this is also important right who has recently launched the go electric campaign who has recently launched the go electric campaign so it has been recently launched by this is quite easy this question is very easy the answer is Nitin Gadkari Nitin Gadkari has recently launched it theek hai So this is the news from 19th February. Next one, Dash is working with UP State Rural Livelihood Mission to train 10,000 women as business correspondents. So which entity is it? Which bank? Which bank or which payment bank is it? So it is none other than Fino Payments Bank. Fino Payments Bank, UP State Rural Livelihood Mission to train 10,000 women. Recently, who released a book, Rashtra Pratham, eighty-two, Virasi Varsho ki uh, Swarnim Gatha, eighty-two years, right? 
so uh, which uh, person which person had released this particular book rashtra pratham okay so my answer will be my answer will be amit shah the book chronicles the glorious history of crpf right central reserve police force since its formation in 1939 so crpf was formed in 1939 right which indian city has been recognized by the arbor day foundation and the un food and agriculture organization as the tree city of the world 2020 quite important fine this was this was uh, recently in the news so my answer will be hyderabad hyderabad gets recognition as tree city of the world just go through it i have taken it from the newspaper right next one union minister for environment forest and climate change prakash javrekar inaugurated the atal paryavaran bhavan atal paryavaran bhavan at dash so it is in which place so it is in lakshadweep you can just go through it i have taken it from the all india radio news ai news prakash javrekar inaugurates atal paryavaran bhavan in lakshadweep right just go through it fine so uh, we had 46 questions today please do mention your score out of 46 theek hai aapka kitna score ban raha hai please do mention it in the comment section fine and to read the daily current affairs you can just go through the pdf pdf aapko hamare telegram channel pe mil jayega don't worry pdf aapko hamare telegram channel pe mil jayega exigence educator search kijiye aapko telegram channel mil jayega please do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and just click on this link in the pdf you can get access to the daily in detail current affairs so i wish you all the best for all your upcoming examinations and also i wish you all the best for the upcoming interviews if you are having interview good luck for that and god bless you take care